Before this video starts, I got this hat off a company called Karen Finch. Really, really like it. If you want to get one, link down below. So yeah, they're an LGBT company. It's Pride Month. We should support. Okay, into the video. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jackson and welcome back to another video thing. So today we're going to talk about a topic that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but it should be talked about. <laughs> But before we get into that, if you could please leave a like on this video, it would mean a ton. Really helps with the algorithm and helps me get more out there on YouTube and we can grow the fam and all that shit. So just click the thumbs up, it's free. Please do it, it helps a lot, so yes. Also, if you're new to the channel, hi, how are you? My name is Jackson, I'm 18. I'm FTM transgender, don't know why. Touch my hat. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing any more of my content or if you've watched a few videos and you're considering subscribing, please do, it means a lot as well. So join the fam, help. Thumbs up and subscribe, it means a lot. I'm awkward, I'm sorry. But yeah, my goal for the end of the year is 35,000. We are at 34.1, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it'd be really cool if you could help out with that, so. Yeet. Today's topic, as you can tell by the title, is dating as a trans person, and if we kind of should, you know, by kind of, I don't know what the, what the word for it is, but if we should or shouldn't tell people that we're trans before we date them. Now disclaimer, this is only my personal opinion. I'm not stating facts or statistics in this. This is just gonna be me talking in my own personal opinion on whether this should be you know kind of the thing you should do or whether it isn't like priority to do you know just disclaimer my own personal opinion yes no hate to anybody who is has a different opinion to me i have no beef with people i want no beef with people this is only my personal opinion from my personal perspective as a trans man so yes no beef with anybody not trying to start drama or anything like that i just saw an article and thought i'd talk about it so yeah personally i think from my perspective that if you are a trans person whether it's trans male trans female or non-binary that if you are dating somebody who is unaware that you are identifying this way or if you've just met somebody who's unaware of your identification and um, i think if you've just met them and you've no interest in dating them then there's no reason for them to know but if you plan on dating them and it is a mutual feeling then i think that you should definitely you know sit down and have a conversation about it because Genital preference is a thing and we're gonna talk about it and not also just genital preference But how it could affect somebody's mindset if they weren't aware of your identification So once again my personal perspective I think I've talked to my brother about this and he is cis and we've had a chat about it And he's so open-minded and everything like this. He's nothing against the trans community but we were talking about it and we were saying how that if a trans woman was to sleep with a cis straight man or if a trans man was to sleep with a cis straight woman it without them being aware that the person that they are sleeping with is indeed transgender and um, it could eventually lead to kind of messing up their mentality a little bit and i don't mean like oh my god it's gonna ruin their life but it could cause a lot of confusion it could cause a lot of mental debates and stuff that just could have been avoided now by me saying this it does not mean that trans men aren't men or trans women are not women. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that when it comes to people who aren't aware or educated, it can be a very confusing topic. If you are a girl and you are attracted to a trans male, it does not make you a lesbian. If you are a man and you're attracted to a trans woman, it does not make you gay. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> but people can feel, you know, kind of a bit taken back or a bit kind of, I wouldn't use the word betrayed, but like something similar to that if you don't tell them because they could have eventually be uncomfortable with the situation and that's one thing that you definitely want to avoid. I think that if somebody was trans and they didn't tell somebody that they were uh, like start dating or something that they were trans and when it came to the bedroom you know activities and the person was like whoa hey hold on I wasn't aware of this and they could be seen as the bad person because people are like oh my god transphobic like you shouldn't you know genitals don't define you yeah they don't but genital preference is a thing and if you haven't had bottom surgery or top surgery or whatever it is you know the person can become uncomfortable and that's a situation that you definitely want to avoid yes we should be attracted to a person because of you know their personality and who they are as a person you know heart not genitals whatever the fuck that is but like general preference is a thing people it really is a thing this is such a confusing topic to talk about because it's hard to word it in the right way i just think that hiding being trans in a relationship or going stealth can just be very very dangerous and it can lead to a lot of problems and a lot of issues that could have been avoided if you just speak openly about it and are very you know 
you trust the person that you're with because that's the main thing at the end of the day you should be able to trust the person that you're with especially if you are a trans individual the last thing i'd ever want to do is make somebody uncomfortable in a relationship with me because i wasn't open about my past or i wasn't open about you know kind of stuff about me my transness <laughs> um because personally that would make me feel horrible and um, you know I, I don't think people should have to you know tell people their whole life story but if this is somebody you're going to be planning to be with for a long time it's going to come up eventually so i think that if the person really wanted to be with you being trans wouldn't be a big deal so you must get it out of the way i think just to state it in the best way that i can the best way to avoid anybody being uncomfortable or any miscommunication or anybody possibly getting hurt from a joke that could be said the wrong way or you know not knowing each other's boundaries because talking about being trans wasn't a thing I think the best thing to just do is get it out of the way and I think if a person really wants to be with you being trans shouldn't even affect them in the slightest way because I've been with my girlfriend for nearly two years now and she's Eastern European she's from Ukraine and everyone was like oh my god like if she's from Ukraine why is she, like how is she so accepting of the LGBT and the trans community and blah 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 and I'm like because she's an open-minded person with a great heart and we shouldn't just assume with people that they're gonna be bad but like people don't think that me and Kate's relationship would have worked out because she was Eastern European and she wasn't gonna be open to the trans thing <laughs> or me being trans but like I think that if you were to go and try date somebody and you're a trans individual and they were like I'm not gonna date you you're trans like it's you kind of have to understand that you can't be offended by it because you've avoided a person that obviously was gonna hurt you in the long run if you had kept it a secret so it's people have preferences and people have you know comfort zones and we have to accept that and it's not transphobic to not want to date a trans person because people have comfort zones and people have you know you're not going to date somebody that you're going to be uncomfortable with in the bedroom maybe you won't, won't be uncomfortable with them as a person but like you know with certain situations they will be uncomfortable and that's completely fine and it's not a bad thing like people have comfort zones <laughs> Also just want to put it out there, if you are a trans individual, I heard my friend Noah say this in a video recently, if you think that you're never going to find love, that no one's ever going to love you because you're trans, because that all this bullshit, it literally is bullshit, like, I have dated, like, quite a few people, I know, like, 15 year old relationships don't really count, but, like, I've had so many people who've, like, been so nice to me and constantly complimented me and, like, you know, I'm in a relationship nearly two years now and I'm very much in love and she's in love with me and being trans is not a part of that. It's just a relationship. And I think a lot of people are scared that if they come out as trans, they'll never find love, but that's just not true at all. It is not true. And if somebody doesn't want to love you because you're trans, then they're not worth being in your life. Simple as. Right, I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm ranting. I should have wrote notes for this video. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this, but if I did, hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, you know, algorithm and shit. Let me know your opinion down below, like if you are a trans person. Once again, I'm not here to fight with anybody. I'm not here to have beef with anybody. This is just my own personal opinion. I think everybody should just be able to express their opinion without somebody going, <laughs> you know, down the throat. Yeah. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below and what like your opinion is on this. And if you wanna have a discussion, we can, you know, a civil, discussion no beef please i am vegetarian to the drama world thanks very much and as usual i hope you had have or having an amazing day quote ellen be kind to one another please don't jump down my throat if you don't like my opinion on this video just have a discussion with me thanks i'll see you in the next video peace